Hi, this is Dustbox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Buck Rogers Countdown to Doomsday. We're on the lower level of the asteroid base, and we've just found some boxes labeled Gradivus Mons in here, and one of the children has told us that that's Ram's base on the surface of Mars. So let's continue exploring here, see if there's any other cool stuff we can find before we finally evacuate the kids. Okay, so we're going to continue west till we get to the next intersection. And then we're going to briefly go down this hallway to the south because there's a couple rooms we want to investigate in this section in Jenny Development Lab 1. We want to go to the the second door on the left and the second door on the right. I have a report of administrator's lost pass card. Might be useful. Uh, yeah, I found it already, Scott. Dot dos. Okay, so... Let's try the room on the right first. A notebook in this lab contains the following information. Hyper Crab, superior armor. Hyper Snake, superior speed. Hyper Scorp, deadly poison. Okay. Right. Yeah, that was it. Okay. Information on the different kinds of jennies. This lab, the lab has a number of rabbit jennies in cages here. Jim rushes forward stating, if we're escaping, then so are the bunnies! Hyper Jennies crawl from behind the cages. You rush forward to save the child. Oh, and of course, I'm sure we're allergic to hyper crabs. Actually. Yeah, if we had like microwave gun those seem to work against unarmored light forms pretty well actually I think we'll ha we'll ha try having Nala use her needle gun since she's got the specialization in it and we'll have Jora Sword. Hopefully they don't poison us. Oh, bleh. Ouch. Yes, there is gravity here, so we don't have to make zero G checks. Yeah, we'll attack that one. That'll work. Oh, 
Ow. Poor Podcane. We survive this. Only has two hit points left. That stinks so badly. No, I am not moving her any closer. I am going to have her switch to her needle gun. Goodness. A lot of healing going on. Podcane needs. The children applaud your daring. Jim frees the rabbits and smiles. Knew you could do it. You got the right stuff. Well, we got experience for that. Let's save. I think we will use an alternate save position. Okay. And now we can go back out of the room and we can go back north to the intersection and now we'll continue west and through research lab one killer Jenny's approach what do you do let's try hiding Okay, that seemed to work. We do have kids with us. Okay. Jenny Development Lab 3. There might be something in the second room to the right, but not necessarily because... Jenny's are exploring this lab, poking claws into everything. What do you do? Uh, well, we already have the key card that would have been in this room, so let's withdraw. You leave. Okay, and we'll continue on south. And the first door on the left in this next section might have something. There are blueprints of the Jenny Containment Canister, showing it equipped with a transceiver. A small homemade radio sits nearby. One of the kids sheepishly admits that her radio opened the canisters. But it was an accident, really! Okay. 
And we continue on south down the hall. Through the intersection into the laser development labs. And we didn't already have the password. Yeah, we'd get it from this notepad here. Also information on a new powerful laser. Uh, let's hide. A kid bites back a gasp of fear, but too late, you're spotted. They attack! Alright, so target. What's next? Okay, we got hyper snakes. I think those are poisonous. And hyper scorps. Ooh. Let's try to engage those guys from a distance. Hyper crabs were nasty enough. I suspect these are going to be even worse. Okay, we got one. At least they don't. They've got lousy armor. Ouch. Are there any left? No, I think we've got them all. Okay, so Bran and Podkin got healed. Now everybody's back at full hit points, and it looks like Bran and Spotty and Podkin are all ready for promotion. Yeah. Let's continue moving. And we want to continue going east, I think. Yeah, first door on the left in this section. You're in a laser development lab. Papers are scattered about. You find parts of a schematic for a laser that is a thousand times more powerful than any normal laser. The schematics mention a tiny prototype in this base. The laser would require enormous power and very precise lenses. And we got some bonus experience. Let's continue on into... Ooh, the walls have changed again. An unusual laser dominates the room. When turned on, a blinding light lashes out and shatters the rock wall. The laser is tremendously powerful for its size. Wow. So that must be the... miniature prototype for whatever they're pl what's the full size one going to be like okay well it's about time to head back to the elevator and get the kids so as we
get past all these killer jennies. You know, like if we'd gone straight to the elevator, we could have gotten the kids out, but there was some of this information that we needed to get. Now when we get to the four-way junction, we want to head this way. Not this first elevator shaft, because that's the one we came down, but the other one. Let's hide. Yeah, we're basically going through the area where we originally found the kids. Okay, we should be almost to the elevator that we need to take to get back up. There we go. The rope allows you to climb the shaft, do you? Okay, now we're on level one again. So, where are we? Do we have an area view? Of course not. Well, let's see if there's anything down this way. Mm, okay. Okay, I think I know where we are. Let's go the other way first then. Worker housing. Should be something in the next room. Poisoned workers sprawl along around the room. A few gasp weakly. Milo looks on disdainfully. Jim whispers, Anything you can do for him? What do you do? Well, let's try to heal him. Hosita succeeds at reviving the worker jennies. Milo says, Since you salvaged these assets, let's take them on the evac ship. Jim whispers, thanks a lot. I don't like anyone dying. Okay. So, Hosita got some bonus experience. And we'll... You know what? We should probably change party order because we still have it the way we wanted it for the those vent shafts. Let's move Jora up right next to Nala. And then we'll move maybe Scotty after them. And then I guess we'll put Hosita in the middle. Okay, so we'll continue on to this T junction. No cool junk here. There might be some down here. Ooh, some equipment. Mini explosive grenade, ECM package. Dazzle grenade, stun grenade, stun grenade. Okay. Well, we'll have Jorah take all the grenades. And maybe have Nala take the ECM package. And I guess we'll have her equip the ECM package. Not entirely sure what that does, but probably won't hurt.
and then we'll leave here. And we'll go up this hallway. A card has spilled here, leaving some more useful items. Ooh, useful items are good. Another rope and some poison antidotes and aerosol mist grenades. Okay, and we'll let Jor take the rest of this stuff. Okay, Class B housing. Don't think there's anything in this section. But first door on the left here. An elderly man points a small pistol at you. He drops it as Jim rushes forward and yells, Grandpa! Wiping away a tear, he says, Thanks for saving Jim. When Milo Sr. said it was time to go, I slipped out to wait for the kids. Let's go. I'll follow. Okay, let's continue on north. Yeah, some larger rooms here. Ooh. Okay, let's. Let's turn west. Security. Save before we do this, just in case we botch something horribly. You have entered a power plant room. The robot power is broadcast from these units. What do you do? Uh, let's shut them down. The robot's power has been cut off. Okay. Sounds good to me. Now, is there anything else? Not really. Let's get out of this room. We'll continue on down the hall. Rats. Why does it have to be rats? Space rats. Okay. Well, I stand corrected. This may be really foolish, but what if Jorah's going to be foolish enough to charge rats with his sword? Well, I guess we better go up and help him. I'm not quite as scared of rats as I am of some other critters. Ah, they dodge needle guns. This is a chance of it. Okay, well. We could continue exploring, or we could just make our way to the exit. We've probably explored most of what there is to see here, so yeah. We might want to just head for the exit in the next episode and maybe 
safely get off the base, we will see. So, we will see you then. <laughs>